Hello everyone, welcome back to War Mongrels. Manfred and Led continue their war path through this concentration camp complex where we've just been murdering our way around basically, but now we kind of have this area of guards up to the north and this complex over to the east where most of our objectives actually are situated. So this house has been murdered to death, this office. We now need to start thinking about moving across in this general direction. And I'm wondering if Manfred might be able to stand here, because that guy's going to turn to his right. That means no one is looking at us. They give up on what they're looking at. We pick up this body and leave. And no one is any the wiser. Oh, this soldier distracted him. That was very kind of them. Now, depending on this guy's path, we might be able to whistle for his attention. We can indeed. And if they get outside of the range of that vision cone, do some more light murdering. It's almost getting to the point where I wonder if it's worth just trying to murder every soldier and officer on this entire map just to see if there's an achievement for it. I should be more careful. Right, there's another uniform here. I don't know if this is going to be changing out of uniform or into uniform. I am curious. Gasoline barrels. Any character with a knife can damage a barrel of gasoline. The gasoline will spill around the barrel so lead can set it on fire, dealing damage to anyone in the area. Very interesting. Right. Let's see what happens if we try and use this uniform. Nothing. Nothing happens. Uh, we would be seen if we try to mess with that. That's an officer there. That would be a problem. But if we steer clear of this dog... Actually, if we stab this guy up here, I wonder if that would make too much noise and we would get investigated. Nope, not too much noise at all. There's just so many soldiers around here. Uh, if we can unlock this door, we... I don't know if there's more objectives inside or if it's just a place we can hide. There's no other door into that location. don't think we should try and stab this person and then hide the body very swiftly. Although, if no one's watching on this side, it's feasible that we could in the time this guy is walking in one direction, turning around and walking back. Don't know if it's an unnecessary risk, though. Pick up the body, drop it there. All right, now that, that worked just about. If we stay away from the nose of this dog on our return path. We 
we can then clip this one whilst no one's looking. I hope. Yes. Don't, no, no. Yeah, that did not go to plan. Like 60% to plan. Oh god, we're back to this exact moment. Okay, but we do know that once these guys turn around, we can cut this without being caught. Thank God we didn't run over so fast as for the dog to smell us on our trip. Then we'll wait for one more lap before piercing the barrel. Because lead should be able to get over here. I don't know how we're going to ignite the gasoline, though. That's not something we've done before. It just said that lead can. Go on. Turn around. Go away. Go on your merry way. Good. Don't walk into the dog's sniff zone. Do this quickly, please. Then leave. All right. Where's the lead these days? Back in this bush. We can get over here without issue, so long as we're avoiding this guy's vision cone. God damn it! God, it's such simple things I should be doing that I'm not. You know? We are just basically out of health as well. Right, we've not done the barrel yet. Let's get lead. Coming over to here. He'll be fine right there, I'm sure. We are doing this barrel. Then retreating. Then lead right here. If we'd have just crawled basically this whole way, we'd have been fine. But also, that's really slow. Yeah, we're grand. That was close. Could we... Do one of those. I'm going to need you to lay down over there. No, nope, lay down over there while Manfred stabs this guy. He's dead. Then, once this guy with a box makes an extra pass, we can dump this body in that bush so we can do the same trick twice. And we will continue on our journey of murdering absolutely every German on this map. Why not get that guy there who sat there just having a quick break? He can die too. They all can. Why should anyone be excluded from all the fun? No need to cause alarm, sir. Right. 
That guy is walking through the oil. This one with the boxes is going to be the next whistle man. We whistle right there. I think we should be fine. No, he is immune to our charms, huh? Oh, is it because he's got cigarettes he can light this stuff on fire? Is that what it is? I don't know why they would just walk through a puddle of lit gasoline, though. Let's quickly drop one of those. Let them turn around again. Oh, wait. We've got... Nope, we missed our chance to whistle. Yeah, I don't see how we could be there whilst the guard and his dog was there, honestly. I don't feel like I could time that one quite right. But we have got that guy for some light stabbing. One down. Is that enough that we can now do that officer just there? I think we can. One down. Don't know about that guy working on the truck, although we can probably whistle for them as well. That guy can't see over here. That guy can't see over here. Then this guy won't be seen being murdered over here. And that is fine by me. Another one in the bush. Done, done, done. Another corpse in the bush. Right, we can probably get this guy as well. As we continue on our escapade. Of just trying to murder everyone that will walk over towards us. It's the power of the uniform, man. It's incredible. Give me the body, please. And sure, we'll stow that one in a truck. Right, now it's just the two canine units over here. Although there's a couple of individuals just left around the gaff. Yeah, that's fine. You can come through here. Uh, this guy's dog we already murdered. So if we can find a quiet spot, we can murder him. Although that spot is not going to be in this building where we put a bunch of corpses, I think. Probably just on the bottom end of his walk here. Hey friend, come to this exact spot where I can give you a special cuddle. Yeah, that's gone well. Drop you off inside. Just, you know, keep the walkways clear at the very least. No need for even more panic than there already is. That guy does have a dog. I think this guy should be incredibly easy to deal with now. Especially if we just close this door. Drop 
Can I put you inside? Does that work? Oh god. Alright, this got more intense very quickly. That dog is just having a quiet sit. I should have definitely remembered that these guys were on patrol here, for sure. Um, if that dog's going to come back around these parts, though, should be an easy enough shot to take with our nice, quiet handgun. Shoot the dog! And he really took his time thinking about that, didn't he? Alright, let's come around this side of the building. I reckon we can take these two. If we get Manfred... No. If we get Manfred out of here... Check that dog's sniff zone. Alright, Manfred. You take the dog. Led. You take the guy. See you in hell. Be ready to run. Nothing happens. Good. I'll grab the ammo crate. Not sure who's getting what here. Sniper ammo, perhaps? Yep. And we'll open this up. No idea. Is this going to be like a bunch of civilians that we're freeing right now? Door unlocked. Path clear. I'll check that door. What did Joshim just say? We haven't even learnt about you yet, dude. You're already telling us about extra parts of your plot. Uh, Led needs to have another conversation. If we're quick about it, we might be able to have a little chat here. Zemmer, do you know him? Everyone still alive here knows him. Where is he? No idea. Oh, thanks. All right, just that group over there. Then we can actually progress with some plot. Have you got any food? No. Sorry, but no. Is this really dumb? Do you know Joachim Zemmler? Yes, everyone here knows. Where is he? He's in Canada. What? The, the place where inmates sort out goods stolen from the newly arrived. It's that big building over there. Thanks a lot. Is that going to be... This one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Red, do you have any? I'm sorry, uh, but no. Man, it really paints a bleak picture, doesn't it? Right, so we need to go in here. Easiest way to do that is obviously going to be in uniform. I don't see too many officers around. There's man and his dog and officer. Question is, will Joe Chim speak to us in uniform? Zimler? Maybe. If you want to talk, you need to get rid of the guard. On it. The guard. All like 40 of them. Okay, well. That officer there is being a butt. Don't go out of that door because we'll get seen by the officer. I think we're going to need to do some 
whistling and distracting. There's just so many folks around. Working in pairs is going to be tough here. They do not hear that whistle. I wonder if it's just the guard that is underneath the crane that they're most concerned about. The one actively watching a lot of stuff. And do these two join that spot there as they walk around? Because if they do, we could get three for one crane. Which would obviously be a great time. Okay. I thought we could do it from the other side where we wouldn't be seen, but clearly that was misguided. If we could get lead up here, we might be able to deal with both of those guys at once. It's going to be a long crawl, though. Food? Have you got some? No, I'm sorry. Right, okay. How are these guys' vision cones? Not that concerning. How loud is a stab here? Quite loud. That's a problem. Um, so if you... Stab that one. And you. If you stab that one. And you stab that one. This guy actually going to investigate? He is. I'll give them a war. I'll give them a war. Reloading. Yeah, reloading sucks. And clearly. That is not a spot to do a double murder. Although, with that said, are they? Surely they must have heard from there. No? If we can just whistle them further into the corner. I have to wait. I'm still preparing. these two just not care about whistles? Oops, it seems I've dropped my pocket watch. Right, you're gonna stab that one. You're gonna stab that other one. Oh god. That'll do. Right, I need you to walk to here, please. Now. 
And that is out of earshot of the others, which is great. Grab your stuff, please, gentlemen. Right, the question becomes now, will the crane crushing catch the attention of everybody else? Because we just need to do it when those two are in that circle. That's three more dealt with. Faster, 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 faster. Who the hell are you? Considering what you wear, you're not a prisoner. Name's Manfred. The AK sent me to get you out. About time, I'd say. There's one problem, though. What problem? I'm in the middle of organizing an uprising. People count on me here. I'm not going to leave them to their fate. And you have to help me. Um, but... Forget about your damn orders for a moment. Help me out to help all these people. I have to do most of the job anyway. I need to get some clean officer clothes. I'm good at acting like one. Been there many times. When I get those, I'll have access to the Commandant's mansion on the other side of the camp. This is the place where they keep the only key to the guard's arsenal. My people will get inside, grab some firepower, and we're going to fight our way out. Has it ever crossed your mind you've got no chance against the guards? We have an element of surprise here. And besides, me and my friends, we're dead men anyway. My people deserve a chance to repay these monsters. Help me out, or you can go to hell. I have really bad feelings about this. Door unlocked. Path clear. Okay. Well. Uh, disguise Joshim as an officer. He's in red for some reason. We have Joshim available to us, though. I wonder if we can just take these clothes. Be ready. We're ready. He has a tiny club, a poison sausage. Oh my god. The dream. The dream of a poisoned sausage. Chat, while you're in the correct uniform, you can talk to your opponent to distract them. Can we take this uniform rather than the one that's upstairs? Is that a guard as opposed to an officer, though? I don't know why this is red. Unlock the path to the armory. Done two of two. Get the key to the armory. We've already done. I feel like I've sequence braked here a little bit too close to the sun. How are we going? Where's the lad? Oh, Manfred's down there. These dogs will sense me even if I'm disguised. It wasn't easy to get those, but cyanide sausage should put them out. Yeah, this has not gone well. I'll take a, I'll take a do-over. Thanks, Manfred went up the wrong staircase. Right, where's Joshim? Cyanide sausage. Even if I'm disguised, it wasn't easy to get those, but cyanide sausage should put them out. Dead. Poor doggy. It's not your fault your masters are more animals than you. Oh no. Somebody with a knife, get over here quickly, please. Shoot me down. 
Okay. That was not ideal. He will die for sure. Aha. Okay. A moment of peace. Joshim, is this uniform different? Yeah. Heil fucking Hitler. Officer's uniform. Joshim can disguise himself as an intruder's or officer's uniform so that any soldiers will not pay attention to him. However, watch out for dogs who cannot be fooled that easily. Once the uniform is on, it cannot be taken off. Okay, so Joachim is an officer. We need to photograph the genocide still. That's the really tricky one. Especially since... Whilst we can go places, we can't melee kill people with our tiny baton, which is unfortunate. It's going to make things difficult. So, I take it we need to photograph the genocide first. Because everything else is being real bizarre. Uh, we should be able to do this one fairly easily. Problem is, it's led with the camera. You can't see all over the stuff. Um, could we... have a conversation with somebody perhaps to distract them Joshim go upstairs or up the ladder and converse with them Joachim can use a baton to momentarily incapacitate. When the enemy regains consciousness, he will start searching the area, so it's better to hide, not not to hide near them. All right, Manfred. Murder them. Have you got some food? No, I, I don't. I'm sorry. That guy is going to be a problem for us. But this one here, we can probably whistle for. If we're quick about this. No, but I'll try to help you out. Yeah, dude, we're working on an uprising here, you know? Right, if we can get behind that guy when they're not looking. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, the other guy saw us. Where are we? Where are we? We just dumped another body, right. You see far too much through here, is my problem. So, does this guy do a full circle, or does he do a back and forth? Good. Grab them. I'll just put them down there. And with that done, uh, if you could converse with them from there, we can probably send lead up. 
going to be slightly trickier. Poisoning people to death with exhaust fumes. I can't fucking believe it. I have to photograph this. Oh, that's what that is. Well, need to stab them first. Time for his death. Understood. Any news from the front? How's the war going? The US, British and Canadians landed in France in June. Their war is vicious, but they are making progress. Great news. That means the Nazis are fighting on two fronts. Soviets are closing in on Warsaw. They've been hammering the crowds for the last year. Jesus Christ, all these people. Right, then we have to get up that tower. Which seems like it's going to be the toughest part of this whole exercise right now. Given just how many other people are around. From here, Joshim, can you... Cannot toss a sausage from here. But I think killing that dog will be worthwhile. Manfred. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm bad at doing sausage work, apparently. Right, let's do one sausage at a time. This guy doesn't care about my existence, so long as the dog doesn't care about my existence, right? Don't think I can. Oh, okay. They are suspicious of me throwing sausage. I guess that makes a bit more sense. Alright, I've learnt my lesson. Sausage throwing is not a safe act. Unfortunately, we can't just throw it extra far from up here, can we? Why does they see that? Alright, apparently even when they're not in the vision cone sausage throwing still isn't as cut and dry as I'd like it to be. Going this way, of course. What if I'm behind this truck? That's lead, not the other guy. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Joshim. There's dog's vision cone. Or smell cone. What about from just there? Alright, that works. That works better. Is the dog going to go for the sausage? Or do officers' dogs have, like, more self-control? 
Because if that's the case, then I'm boned. Alright, instead then... I think we're going to have to... Arrange something else. Let's start with that dog. getting quite loud. No, stay, stay. Shit. Tiny variables are not my friend. Vengeance is mine. Right. First of all, I'm going to get led off of this sodding tower because he keeps getting spotted. And that leads to me being dead. All right, that's a good start. Then. We can move through here just fine. But why not... ...deal with this officer in the way we best know how. Thanks, Joachim. They won't know what hit them. I don't understand what just happened. Why I wouldn't shoot the dog, I don't know. This is just being unfriendly. The hunt is on. Oh, no, I want. The hunt is on. Apparently I can't do combat mode with the sniper rifle. They won't know what hit them. Where are you going? You not shoot him through that fence. Cause that would be ideal. This whole thing is just a mess, isn't it? All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get everybody. Regroup over here. And next time, we will come back with some more patience. A fresh mind. See about taking over this quadrant here. Taking the last photographs and then fighting our way out to finish the mission. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.